To truly understand how vital this small population of red squirrels are, I'm meeting up with Zoe Cox, whose tireless conservation work has been integral to the species. Nice to meet you Zoe. Hi. I believe you're the local red squirrel expert, is that correct? Yes, well I hope so. <laughs> how long have you had an interest into wildlife and red squirrels generally? Oh, it's about five, five, six years now. Yeah, yeah. a long time. Is that all, yes. all the while here? Or? Yes, all the time here. Um, I live local so I come up as many as... outside I suppose. Yes, it does, <laughs> <Yeah>. definitely. <laughs> So how often do you come out here? Is it a regular thing, a weekly thing? Or? Uh, it's um, a couple of times a week, depends on my work. Um, normally about twice a week, but other times it can be three or four times a week. So how do you manage to get so close to the red squirrels? Is it um, patience? It's time, a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of arm ache. <laughs> a lot of I get to hold your hand out for ages. I was trying to earlier. Yeah. <laughs> right, my name's Paul Critchley. I'm 49 years old and um, together with my partner Trudy we run the glassworks at Aris and Barnes. I did a degree in sculpture and a master's in sculpture. I would sculpted many materials, stone, wood, bronze, you know, done a whole range of things and I actually found it hard to make a living out of them because they were very labour intensive and glass, uh, I was attracted to glass because it's very immediate and quick particularly if you're hot sculpting the glass. Uh, we sculpt many things, and over the 16 years we've been here, we've developed a, a really broad range, which includes uh, many animals, uh, some woodland animals based that we have in the UK, but also we do a lot of exotic things, uh, elephants, rhinos, that sort of thing. So after the donors had the time in the room, yeah. and it's gone into the park, what do you do with it? So we do a basic analysis, so a, a basic semen analysis where we look at the number of sperm in the sample, we look at the number of sperm that are swimming in the sample, so those are the two big things that we look at when we're doing the sperm count. Um, we look at the shape of the sperm, so actually in a human sperm sample the number of sperm that are abnormal is very very high, 96% of sperm in a human sperm sample are abnormally shaped. So we're looking for that classic tadpole shape and then we look at a couple of other bits and pieces that are less important yeah. um, and we just do that down the microscope having a look at them yeah. they're swimming around. I'm James Brown and I volunteer at Waves in Weston, which is a project set up to try and encourage people in the local area to be active really, so I would cycle their bikes, go for walks and just kind of engage with the local, local uh, population. So do a, we do a range of activities, uh, we do kind of bike maintenance courses, uh, encourage people to show people how to help fix their own bikes. Uh, we do learn to ride, so that might be kids, but also might be adults, so help people get the confidence to ride their bikes um, along this kind of Western Shore environment. We also do kind of activity lead walk into Westwoods, bringing people together outdoors, in the confidence, also doing active. Barnes goal that separates the two teams in this second half. Pull back and that's a great save from Harry Lewis but they've given away a penalty Saints. It's from Mario Barra again the man involved. There's a yellow card in there. Pulled back from Ruben Machido. From Mario Barra pulled the trigger. Penalty given against young Kane Ramsey on off the bench this afternoon. He's defended really well this evening and looked good going forward. But Kane Ramsey penalised for the sliding tackle that came in after the shot was away. Machado with the cross. Barrow pulls the trigger. It was a great save from Harry Lewis as well. Deep breaths from Rui Sousa. To equalise for Porto, sends Lewis the wrong way, finds the back of the net. Saints punished. You have to say it was a harsh penalty. But well executed from the striker Rui Sousa. Southampton won, Porto won. Short tentative run up, wasn't it, from Rui Sousa? 
just waited for Harry Lewis to commit the Saints goalkeeper and then tucked it away into the opposite side.